Welcome to our first interview in English. I'm very happy that Alex Heaton from America found ti find time to come to us for an interview. And we want to talk about a new amazing cloud product. But first, um, I would like uh, that you introduce yourself and your position uh, by Microsoft. So I'm Alex Heaton. I'm a product manager for Windows Intune. I work in Microsoft Cor corporate headquarters in Redmond, Washington. I live in Seattle. And I work with the engineering team to help them plan Windows Intune and then work with our international subsidiaries like the German team that I'm here meeting with to help them launch Windows Intune to in every country. Okay, you have named the product Windows Intune. What is Windows Intune? Windows Intune is a new cloud service that Microsoft is going to launch later this month on March 23rd. Mm -hmm. And Windows Intune is a cloud service for doing PC management and security from the cloud. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft has other cloud services like Windows Azure to host applications. Mm -hmm. Office 365 is coming for productivity, email, and SharePoint. Windows Intune, we are taking our desktop management technology, our antivirus technology that we have in System Center and Forefront, mm -hmm. and we're making that available from the cloud to make it very easy for customers to manage and secure their PCs. Mm -hmm. um, and you say you started uh, Windows Intune, you launched it in, on March, at the end of March. Um, so far you have only better users. What are your experience with the better users? Uh, beta users are giving us really um, good feedback. The, we've seen a lot of interest in the beta. So we announced Windows Intune last year at a conference in Microsoft uh, in, in Las Vegas called the Microsoft Management Summit. That's for IT professionals who do PC and server management. Mm -hmm. And we announced that was our first beta. And we had a thousand seats for the beta, and that filled up within 24 hours. Wow. So we saw a lot of interest for that. And then that was only available in the US. And then we had a second beta that was in July, and that was available for 10,000 users. Mm -hmm. And that one we made available in Germany and the rest of Europe as well. And that one we also, we again saw thousands of customers signing up, signing up. So there's really a lot of interest in Windows Intune. Um, and they just, a lot of customers who, have never done PC management before, or okay. they know they could do it better, but it was too difficult because they didn't have the expertise in, in setting up the servers to do um, traditional PC management infrastructure. They saw Windows Engine, it was so easy, they just signed up for the beta, they installed the agent on some machines, and then right away they're able to start managing their PCs and see all the information about their PCs. Mm -hmm. you, uh, did you know how much better users you have in Germany? I don't have the exact numbers, but I do remember that Germany was the number two most uh, country used the beta the most after the United States. So there's, we saw a lot of interest in, in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, if you think um, what the feedback was from beta users, what are the most interesting functions for the IT administrators? The most interesting function is the fact that it's all integrated into one tool. Mm -hmm. So they may have an AV tool, they may have a tool for inventory. What is an AV tool? AV is antivirus. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Antivirus, uh, most businesses have some kind of antivirus software on their machine, but it's not integrated uh, with their PC management mm -hmm. software. Mm -hmm. So Windows Intune, in one tool, you can deploy updates, you can have your antivirus anti-spyware, mm -hmm. you can um, have inventory of all your hardware and your software. Mm -hmm. So you have a single tool the IT Pro goes to and gets all the information they need to manage their desktops. Um, where they might have had a way to do these things before, but it was a manual process mm -hmm. or have to go into a separate tool every time to do a different task. Mm -hmm. So the feedback they said is, this is the tool I've been waiting for that would make it so easy to do everything all in one place. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what is the target audience um, you have uh, in view with this product? So Windows Intune, our long-term vision is mm -hmm. Windows Intune is our 
is our PC management solution from the cloud. So we don't say this is for any particular audience. We don't say this is a small business product or an enterprise product. Mm -hmm. This is Microsoft's, uh, going to be Microsoft's best in class tool for doing any PC management that you want to do. Mm -hmm. That's our vision. The first version of Windows Intune, it, it doesn't do everything that our on-premise products do yet. Mm -hmm. So the target audience for the first version is a customer who probably doesn't have a PC management solution in place yet. A customer, we say, who has basic IT needs, mm -hmm. who need to have a centralized tool for inventory and updating their machines and having AV. Mm -hmm. That is the target customer for the first version. Mm -hmm. So there are smaller businesses who don't have any solution. Mm -hmm. There are also big companies who don't have a good PC management solution in place. There's one customer who's using Windows Intune Beta already on 3,000 PCs. Wow. So it's definitely something that can scale to that size of business. So that's why we don't say it's just for small business or just for enterprise. A lot of customers are going to find uh, use in it. But then over time, we're going to add more and more features. So we expect that even more and more enterprise customers will switch from their on-premise to the cloud because that is uh, where a lot of customers say they want to go. They want to do most of their IT from the cloud. Mm -hmm. um, how will be uh, Windows Intune available if I am interesting and um, want um, to rent it? Um, how? How, how, how is the process, process for this? So the process for buying Windows Intune is going to be uh, the same as the process for buying our other cloud services like BPOS or, or an Office 365 mm -hmm. when that comes out. So customer can buy it directly or they can um, use a partner and a partner can help mm -hmm. them with the purchase as well. We see Windows Intune as a very good uh, tool for solution providers, IT consultants to use to manage their customers' PCs or to, to sell the product to their customers and the customer can use it on their own. Mm -hmm. But the customer, let's say uh, if they're buying it directly from Microsoft, they would go to a website. You could start at windowsintune.com in the mm -hmm. US or you'd be able to find the German website. And you go into a portal and you um, sign in with your live ID. Mm -hmm. And you could choose to first sign up for a trial. Mm -hmm. So if you signed up for, we have a 30-day trial that will be available when you launch. You can install that on up to 25 PCs, mm -hmm. manage it, see how you like it. And then if you want to purchase it, mm -hmm. there will be a, a link. And you can say, OK, I want to make this, um, I want to purchase this. Then you could enter your credit card or, or billing information. Mm -hmm. And then if a, if a partner was the one helping you with it or selling it to you, you would enter the partner's name or the partner's ID. And then the partner would be recognized as the, the person who sold you Windows Intune. Mm -hmm. And then Microsoft would know that and, and compensate the partner on doing that. Mm -hmm. And then you can start using it right away. And then you get billed every month that you use the service. And then if you add more PCs, then we automatically will have capacity for you. And then you can install the agent on more PCs. And then you would um, you know, be billed for all the PCs that you're managing with Windows Intune. Mm -hmm. So if I have started with um, the trial then, and, and have uh, take the PCs inside this trial, um, and I say, OK, I will want to purchase it, then I don't lose uh, anything. I can do it in the productive system. That's right. So we've made it very easy. You can try it out. And if you like it, you don't have to, um, to do anything else. You can keep all your configurations mm -hmm. and then convert it to a full system. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> and um, one, one more question. Um, if you want to start and you don't want 25 PCs, um, at what, at what uh, user you start? Uh, the minimum is one PC. One. So if you want to just manage this one, we don't have any minimum uh -huh. limit. So you could manage one up to you know several thousand PCs. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want to change, if you want to say, okay, I don't need 25, I now I need only 20, can you change this too? Or have you um, do this for one year? Um, the, the systems are designed to do it for one year. Mm -hmm. So I know that at one year you can reduce it. I don't, I'm not familiar with all the different options that are what would happen in between the year. Mm -hmm. So you can in the, in, the, in the year you can add more PCs, that's no problem. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can do that. Okay. You just go into the website and you say 
you go from 25 to 30 or 40, and then we will automatically know that you are able to use more more PCs. Mm -hmm. um, we have today on the CBIT our first uh, uh, talks with uh, customers, mm -hmm. and um, they asked two questions, which okay. I would like to ask you too. Uh, one question was um, if you can uh, have an an another virus wall um, with your PC. Uh, the uh, the firewall or the antivirus software? Antivirus. Antivirus mm -hmm. software. Mm -hmm. So, by default, if you install Windows Intune, mm -hmm. then you will keep using your current antivirus software. Ah, okay. So we will not uninstall your your mm -hmm. antivirus software. Mm -hmm. Now, if you choose to use uh, the Windows Intune one, then you would uninstall or disable the old one, mm -hmm. and then just say and then turn on the Windows into an AV, and then we would start protecting your machine. Mm -hmm. But it's not recommended to have two antivirus at the same time. Mm -hmm. So if a customer wants to keep using their old one, then we would, uh, that's, that's definitely possible. You mm -hmm. can choose to use the old one. Now, we will not configure settings for another antivirus mm -hmm. product. Okay, so that's, that's this you have to do manual? You would do is it, yeah, however you, that other mm -hmm. system works. But the one feature we will do is um, we can do a security assessment and see if you, so you could just find out which PCs don't have any AV. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now if you're using a third party, another AV mm -hmm. software, it will show up and say, okay, this PC is protected by antivirus software, even though they're not using the Windows Intune one, we can tell that you're using some antivirus software, so this PC is is protected. Mm -hmm. So we can detect if you're using another one and report that the, the PC does have antivirus software installed, even if it's not ours. Mm -hmm. Now, we'd recommend uh, to use ours. It's very, um, on very proven technology, it uses our forefront technology, which is used also in System Center Essentials, which, um, We've gotten really great feedback on System Center Essentials being very easy to use, good level of protection. And so if you use Windows Intune, the client experience on the PC is going to be that same um, quality of, of software like System Security Essentials. But the benefit is the IT admin is going to be able to see if there's any antivirus software found and also be able to configure the settings centrally so they can get the enterprise control uh, that you would expect from a, an enterprise antivirus software. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second question was, um, you can um, update, for example, your software with Windows Intune uh, and manage your updates. Um, what's with um, software from um, other vendors? For example, Adobe or... Right, right, right. I understand. So right, right now, Windows Intune, we do a few things with software. We do inventory of software mm -hmm. and we do updating of Microsoft software. Mm -hmm. So for the inventory, we would inventory any software, mm -hmm. Adobe, um, you know, any third-party software, Microsoft software, mm -hmm. you'll be able to count how many licenses you have and what version of it that you have. Mm -hmm. For updating, right now, the first version, it will update any software that's in the Microsoft Update catalog. Mm -hmm. So that would be Office, um, you know, Internet Explorer, Microsoft software updates. We can do that automatically. We currently don't do third-party software updating. Mm -hmm. But that is, if you think about our vision, where we want to do the things that on-premise software can do. Definitely third-party updating is something that our other products can do. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely something we're looking at to um, add to our future versions. Mm -hmm. We don't have exact timing of when that will be available, but it's definitely the type of, type. it's exactly the type of thing that we're planning to mm -hmm. invest in for Windows Intune. So expect that it will evolve a lot. This is just the first version. We're still in beta for the first version. We are going to be innovating pretty rapidly on, on Windows Intune, adding new features. And another benefit of the cloud is if we come out with a new feature, we can make it available to the customers automatically. They don't have to deploy software like you do with traditional software. So as we add new features, customers who sign up for Windows Intune today are going to be able to get those things automatically. Mm -hmm. It's uh -huh. a kind of software assurance. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. And, but it's even better because you don't have to deploy it. Yeah. We do that for you. Mm -hmm. um, we tried to uh, Windows Intune. We are one of the beta tester, and it was very funny. Uh, we find up our PCs games. So um, you also inventory uh, games um, from the internet. Is this right? Yeah, we have a a, a catalog of tens of thousands of pieces of software. Mm -hmm. So. 
we want to give the IT insight insight to whatever software it is. Mm -hmm. So we have a database and we will look at the, the executable that's installed and the version number and we will um, translate that into friendly names of the game. So if we can see a certain executable in the game, like say funhouse.exe, we'll, we'll check our database to say, okay, that's funhouse from this game company and here's the version number. And so if you look at Windows Intune, you'll see very um, simple inventory information. Mm -hmm. But we do a lot of work on the back end to research what that executable is, who the vendor is to give the, the IT pro that information. So if you see the games, that's because you know, we, we look and if we see an application that we don't recognize, we have researchers who go out and um, find out what that game is and provide that information to the database so you can see exactly what is installed on the, mm -hmm. on the machine. Yeah. But we do it for games too. Okay. I think it's a very exciting and interesting product and uh, I hope very, very much of our viewers want to try it too. And um, thank you that you find the time to talk with us. Um, I'm very happy about this and I wish you a good flight back. <laughs> oh, thank you very much and everyone please sign up for the beta. Go to the Windows Intune website in Germany. You can sign up for, um, not the beta, but the, the trial and the purchase will be available on March 23rd, mm -hmm. 2011, and the product is um, localized in German, mm -hmm. so German customers can use it. And we also have a data center in Europe. So okay. European customers, we have a European data center, so the data will be stored in Europe. We're mm -hmm. very um, uh, respectful of European privacy concerns mm -hmm. and privacy policies and data security policies. So mm -hmm. we have European data centers, European uh, localized product in our first version, so I really uh, want this to be a global cloud product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank